All right, so here's everything wrong with the car. The car's been sitting out outside for the last um, year because I've had other projects in the garage and it hasn't done too well. Clear coat started painting over here on top of the hood and it's probably gonna start elsewhere very shortly. Uh, just my experience with clear coat fading. Um, once one starts, the rest goes. So pretty much the whole car should probably be repainted. Although the paint on the hood is not the original hood, so the fender should last longer. Um, there is water spots on here, but I've been afraid to take my um, DA polisher to it because I don't want to go through the clear. Um, if I do keep the car, I am going to probably end up painting it. Previous owner had some body work done to this fender, and it's a pretty shitty job. You can see there's defects there. And you can kind of see it there. So, there's definitely some wound action or something going on there. Scratches, bumpers messed up. Uh, everything on this side's good. Now, tires have plenty of tread, but they're old. So, they should really need to be replaced. They're um, beyond its uh, lifespan in years. Uh, inside does have keyless entry and it does work. Uh, inside is pretty much stock except for the fuel pressure gauge and the boost gauge and the knob for the headlights and a short shifter from Steeda. CD player doesn't work on it uh, but the radio portion does work and I have it connected to that little thing for Bluetooth um, I only drive this car like once a month and that's just to keep it driving or if there's a car show or something I'll clean it up for the car show Starting to crack there. Gauges factory mileage. That might be good to know. Oh, the seats. There's definitely some wear on the seats. Uh, almost no wear on that seat, and almost no wear at all on the back seats. No one ever sits back there. Twenty-four, six forty-four point two. I didn't know I had that much mileage on this car. Dang. Um, factory pedals underneath. Uh, clutch is very stiff. It is aftermarket clutch in there. Uh, guess we can pop the hood. Oh. Headliner. No issues at all with the headliner. These are, these did have Mr. Gasket locking pins before, so they do fit directly on. Oh, there we go. Um, but I changed to the old school style just because I like to physically see when they're locked.
Okay, underneath the hood. Uh, it's basically it's Patriot heads, um, trick flow valve covers, mid lane tethers, no cats, so if you got emissions, you're gonna have issues. Um, Vortex supercharger, it hits about 10, 11 pounds of boost. Battery. 2018 so the battery probably doesn't have much life left on it um, the tire engine just needs a lot of cleaning up yeah this is not rust by the way this is just dirt in case you're wondering Think of anything to really bring up. Oh, the trunk. This might be a good one to know. It doesn't have that carpet on the bottom of the board. Uh, I'm not sure why that's just how I got the car. I just never got around to doing it. Um, it does have that Mach 460 sound system, which um, doesn't sound that great, so I don't know what's the deal with that. Um, this was at the Ford, uh, I don't know, 40th car show thing or something that the guy signed it for. Um, I don't remember, but I ended up getting the full backstory on that. That was kind of neat. Um, I've been looking for that wrench. <laughs> I'll get it later. Um, this is a actual Ford product, the wing. Um, came from the parts catalog. Um, if you were to take it off, you'll see the Ford stamp and the part number underneath the wing. So it's not like a knockoff Steedo or something. The wheels, inside the wheels are actually, they're, they're Ford Cobra R wheels, um, but they're not ones that came with the Cobra R, they're the ones that Ford sold separately. Um, that said, someone took my um, center caps, the Cobra R center caps, so I just stuck some center caps I had on my other wheels on there, but the wheels itself do have the stampings for the Ford Cobra R wheels. Um, Punisher, because that's cool. The front bumper is 99 2000 Cobra front bumper, uh, Steeda front lip. It does clean up nice, kind of, so any questions, let me know. Peace out. I almost forgot. This panel cracks so are replaced with a cheap one, which does not fit at all. So yeah, I'd, you need to get a, you need to get a one piece to make that right. The windshield wipers don't work. I replaced the, the stock in there thinking that was it. That's probably the actual motor itself or maybe a relay or fuse or something. I haven't really looked into it. Um, I just don't drive the car when it rains, so I haven't really been pressured to get it fixed. All right.